Takk fyrir að vera með ykkur. Ég maður núna, ég ætla að tala ensku. Á ég að gera það? Af hverju? Skilur ekki íslensku? Ok, I'll try, I'll try. Bear with me. So, um, through the years I've been trying to be innovative. And, well, I actually said this. I was thinking out of the box. I had been working for a record company in New York, and um, this is following a tragic death of one of our major artists. She was killed by a fan. The following week, we had three albums in the top ten. Do you blame me? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good idea. It sells records. But unfortunately, it's illegal. It didn't go down well. Someone kicked me in the butt. I mean, you know, you shouldn't say this about um, your, your artists, but, I mean, who can blame me? The artist that we had at the time, Vanilla Ice. Yeah? Cool guy. Yeah, in like 87, but in 94 or 95? No. Huey Lewis on the news. Should be dead. I mean... <laughs> China Phillips. I mean, who remembers China Phillips? I actually, I, I watched the movie the other day, um, the the bridesmaids, and 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 there were Wilson Phillips, the the people that I so wanted to kill at the time, and they're they're alive. Actually, looking good. I, I was happy for them, but the opportunity that I got to work in the in the music industry and even in the mecca of the music industry in even New York gave me a great um, opportunity, uh, and that was um, to work with some great artists, even meeting great artists. And I have this theory, I call it the talent principle. The more of a talent you are, the less of a business sense you have. It's true. I mean, look at entrepreneurs. These are, no, I mean, they are not business people, come on. They can't even, you know, balance their checkbooks. But if you're an extremely talented person, you need a lot of support. And that's what a record company was. was. A record company was a group of people that all had specific skills. All the skills that you need to successfully put out mu music, uh, get the music to the market, and basically make a artist successful. And I was lucky enough to meet a lot of these uh, people, and believe me, uh, the coffee talks and the chat at the water cooler, great stories. Now, what are the people of the music industry? Well, primarily, they used to be door openers. They were the people that opened all the doors once an artist was signed. And I'm going to get to it later why I'm talking about artists, because I think there's a, there's a correlation. Um, an entrepreneur, when he goes out with his great idea, he is basically like an artist that comes to a record company. But the door openers, um, they know all the tricks of the trade. They know how to successfully make you a star. And it's, it's really amazing. I mean, I was there sitting in meetings where artists came in with a cassette, with three demo songs, but, you know, with that unforgettable spark in their eyes. And that's how they landed the five million dollars that typically took to market successfully a new artist. I wish that we as entrepreneurs didn't have to write all these business plans and come up with the budgets and, you know, we just have a great idea. You know, why can't it work like the record industry? But as you know, probably those of you that have gone down that road that I have traveled so many times before, it's not the case. We need to bring all kinds of information. Uh, we have a great idea of how we want to make something new, but all of a sudden they request us to tell the future. And I mean, we hardly know what's happening today. But um, I want to focus back on, on, the, uh, on the really important 
part that the middleman that so many people would like or actually have successfully cut out of the music industry, the, the, the roles that were played within uh, the music industry as I knew it. And the reason I want to bring this up is because a lot of great talents have now disappeared from what I knew as a, as a music industry because they're having a hard time, they need to cut back, uh, they need to fire people. And it's really unfortunate because it's, it's sort of like a brain drain. A lot of talent that really needs to be in the music industry is not there anymore because of innovation. So I'm just, you know, as a word of caution, be careful. Be careful what you innovate. Um, and this is coming back to the, uh, to the uh, music venture capitalist. 98% failure rate accepted in the music industry. Think of that. What venture capitalist would accept that as a failure rate? That would be cool. I mean, we would be getting shitload of money just inventing stuff left, right, and center, just, you know, changing the world every day. Well, from like 10. Um, that was actually a good joke. If, you know, watch this video on the, on the web later on, and, and you, you're probably going to get that. Now, and this is what I miss from the music industry. This is what is lost. I call it the conveyor belt of love. A lot of people with great talents, great love for music, always there to make sure that when an artist enters the conveyor belt to success, they are there to push the artist back on the conveyor belt if he happens to fall. Well, here's the downside of, of what has happened to the, to the music industry. And this is, again, a word of caution. Be careful what you uh, innovate. Uh, be careful what you come up with. I mean, right now, I, I almost do not uh, enjoy music anymore because it's just stuff on some network. I mean, like, you know, this is the real stuff, man. It's, it's yeah, there are a lot of young people in the audience. This, is, this, this used to be called a record player. There was like a big black thing that, not that kind of big black thing, but you know, it's, it was a round black thing that went on there and, and it, there was music. Awesome. I miss it. I miss it. But right now, there's just uh, you know, a bunch of stuff floating out there, and um, you know, we spend a lot of time figuring out what it is that we like. Um, it used to be really simple. A record company was a filter. They decided what was uh, going to be put to the market. We just accepted that as human beings, that I am now a Madonna fan, or I'm into Bruce Springsteen, or I like Tracy Chapman. And we were just fine with that. Now we need to figure out what, what, what kind of, uh, what genre of music am I into? I mean, you know, do we know that really? So it's, it's complicated. But uh, what is the problem? Yeah, I, I put it up there um, because actually the music industry is growing and it's growing pretty fast. But you know, it's, uh, it's the market for recorded music that is really bumming. So, um, yeah, I, I, don't you like those images? They're pretty cool. I ripped them off the internet. Uh, this is called uh, sleeve facing. Uh, a bunch of people are doing this. Um, so right now we have a, an industry that is not the record industry anymore. I mean, the record industry are just the mere size of what, uh, the, the record companies are just the mere size of what they used to be. Uh, they are filled with people that have, you know, a year or two of experience working with music. Um, but right now, what has happened is that if you're an artist or somebody putting out music, you need to now go to all in all different directions and get in, pull in the talent that actually knows how to, you know, market digitally, someone that knows the environment that uh, you have to work within when you're putting out music. So basically, innovation, what innovation has done to the music industry, it has um, not created jobs, for sure. Thank you, innovation. It has complicated the world for everybody involved, including the artist. 
Right now, uh, given the fact that I've been associated with uh, the internet and, and music and, and all that for uh, too long, we are every day meeting with artists that are just confused. I mean, I don't understand this. I don't have time to make music anymore. You know, where, where is this going to? Going, going. So basically, be careful what you kill um, when you're innovating. Um, respect music. That is one of my messages to you. Understand the industry that you are um, disrupting. And, um, yeah, most importantly, what was the most important thing that I wanted to tell you? <sighs> they left the notes out of the, the thing. We got like a thing on the side here that, you know, gives us the slides, but um, the notes are not there. It's, it's, it's awful. What can I leave you with? What can I leave you with? Something really impressive. A song? A song? Yes. Remember, the less of a talent you are, the more of a business person you are. <laughs> I'm a business person, <laughs> yeah. So, actually, the point that I came up with this morning, and I'm just gonna throw it out there, I wish Steve Jobs played a guitar. Thank you.